prison over You a queen when I less than I'm a boozy Oh why me, oh why me 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 I don't know why haters be telling me to mind my business When they are telling not minding theirs Shut your mouth and enjoy the tea We all know you're here for it since Ninjas, how are you guys doing? It's a girl. I'm sure what AK is fear for corporate back for entertainment. If it's the first time joining me, almost double the welcome. Please do subscribe and of course the bell. I absolutely love and do not forget to follow me on Instagram instead. Oh, I'm sure one okay. Now, many just today, I thought that I'm gonna give you a story time, um, just for you guys to laugh. It's a funny one. Please, oh my touch is serious. Um, and that's basically just to say, I'm sorry, guys, that obviously there was no video yesterday. I did do a live, but it was very late, and I understand that a lot of people did not catch it, especially those that don't have the bells on. So make sure that you do, uh, you know, keep or click on that bell so that you don't miss on anything. But I did save the live, and the quality was quite good. So if you want to watch it, you can go ahead and watch it, Shibobo. Okay. Now today my ninjas were going to talk, oh before I get into that, I've seen that you guys have asked me like where did I get this um, plant basically, this is a fake plant you guys and I got it in macro, uh, it was on sale when I bought it and I think it was like 800 bucks, um, I think the original price is like a thousand bucks you guys, like this they be like expensive for nothing so if you want it you can just go to macro and i'm sure that um you'll get it there so basically my ninjas today's story time is about the time my helper ate all the meat, girl i never ever forget that day legit i want now i'm gonna go ahead and just give you guys a backstory sort of so basically uh you know I'm vendor and so I was raised by obviously vendor parents in a vendor home um, and uh, at home you guys like they've always taught us like you know food is just the dirt of the mouth so basically that's what they say um, and that you know like you should not you know like don't be stingy when it comes to food so you know whenever food is there would we'll always eat I grew up in a very big family okay legit sharing is was like a way of life whenever we're growing up so i'm not somebody that really minds when it comes to like food or anything like that i legit do not and i feel like that point has to come across but you guys will hear basically what happened so this was one of my helpers not the one that i have now and you guys like this lady i'd say that where we are you guys it's a very impoverished place so a lot of people are you know suffering so she was staying like in a shack and all that and when i gave her a job i was basically just also trying to just help her now she was working fine you guys but let me tell you something this woman you would eat okay and i know that somebody's gonna be like oh i'm mean, just tracking what she's eating honestly i was not tracking what she was eating but the way that she used to eat like you could see that she loves food and she enjoys food now something that you guys need to understand is also the fact that i'm somebody that is a good cook okay so i can i, I i'm able to cook good food and i make like you know just simple meals but you know they taste nice so happy loves my food and i guess she also really loved my food now at one point it did come to my mind that maybe you know because of you know she's been struggling um maybe she just does not eat enough at at, at her, her her place and so she did have small kids so what i used to do is that i i would cook and then at times i would also like kind of like leave a lot of food in terms of like i'd cook a lot more and then i'd be like okay you know you can take the leftovers and go home with them then you'll come back with the container like tomorrow just because i was also like thinking for um like her kids but let me tell you what she would do you guys like she would like maybe arrive eat and then after eating and then i'd be like okay here's a container like pack she would pack the food sit here and eat all that food and then wash the container and go home and so i mean i was just like girl like don't you think you should save some for the kids but listen like that's what i'm just saying like she really love used to love food so what i would uh do as i said is that i'd make sure that i cook a lot 
more food. So I would cook counting her because she did, she was not somebody that liked bread. So she just wanted like pap, rice, whatever it is that would have been cooked. Like she'd be so excited, um, you know, and whatever. And so that was fine because I'm somebody that enjoys cooking anyway for hubby. So I would just cook, you know, enough food and then we would all eat. Now... I'd say that you guys know that, you know, whenever I'm working, usually I'll sleep like really late. So I can sleep at around 3 a.m., 4 a.m. So obviously when she knocks in at around 8 a.m., I'm still sleeping. So what I'd, I'd always do is that I'd wake up and then open the door for her and then go back to sleep. And then I'd wake up maybe around past 11 to 12. Sometimes, no, not to 12, <laughs> like past 11, you know. Um, but then sometimes maybe I'll wake up at 10. I don't, I'm not somebody that sleeps that long. Sometimes at 9, sometimes at 8 i'd be up and that's it you know so what this lady would do is that immediately she arrives the first thing she does is eat before she works or do anything so whatever is there she has to first eat and then after that i think she eats a second time before i wake up because she would know that like around 11 i'm gonna be waking up and stuff um so i mean i don't know you guys okay i don't know if she would just sit and eat all of that at the same time or whatever um so now the day that i'm actually talking about is I remember that day I basically like been khalila like a steak and then the steak I, I I was like oh my gosh you guys I was salivating for it I wanted a steak and I wanted a steak that was like you know bright so um I didn't want to use the oven and I also did not like want to like fry it um like with oil so what we basically did was that we do have a bright stand and then you know basically set it up but that day I, it was raining a lot and so i don't know what was happening with the coal but it yo it gave us problems you guys and the coal was actually not even outside it was like the charcoal um it was in the house i didn't really understand why like it was so difficult but we struggled and struggled and struggled and struggled okay um, and we were obviously bringing like by the garage side, so we had to move the cars. Um, like it was just, guys, I don't even want to lie. It was just a miserable day. But because when I really wanted that, um, you know, we forced with her be like, okay, let's do it. So we do it, you guys. And then we get load shading that day. It was just a miserable day, you guys. Um, and then we bribe the meat and then it's finished. Now I had bought, I think maybe steak worth of like 300 bucks and it was like big pieces you guys so the pieces that i'd say i'd gotten were about maybe seven pieces i should say that are big you understand so okay i bry and then i i take all the meat and then i put in like this big bucket now for me what i had looked at was that okay so we're gonna eat tonight and then i'm gonna make um you know a lunch box for her before tomorrow and then tomorrow i'm also going to eat the meat and there's also gonna be a piece that is going to also be enough for her to actually go to work with again the following day so i knew that i i won't have to cook and everything like that you understand because there's a lot of meat number one number two the pieces like are huge you can legit like cut you understand so okay that's fine now i don't know if maybe some of you guys are like me most of the times i don't really enjoy food when i just finished cooking like i can feel like eating something but once i'm done cooking i legit just it's like the smell has gotten too much in me i usually do enjoy the food that i cook like the following morning so that night after i cooked on top of that i was pissed because things were just not going too well we suffered so much to bright this meat and everything i when i tell you guys like from one piece i just took like a small piece and then i ate that and then from that piece i couldn't even finish it i put it in the microwave and then i was like okay that's fine you know there's a lot of meat so tomorrow i'm going to obviously eat so hubby enjoyed himself and then after that i did make like a lunch box for him and then obviously he went to work with it now when i went to bed you guys the container that was filled with meat here it's very cold so i didn't even have to put it in the fridge and then i was like okay that's fine you know obviously tomorrow um we're gonna eat now you need to remember you guys that from the seven pieces hubby had one piece and then one uh piece i actually took for him to go to work and the pieces i was giving him i was giving him the smaller pieces because remember the bigger ones i knew that i'm still gonna have to cut them you understand 
um and because of when we went to bed the load shading was still on i was like it's not a problem like i'll do everything tomorrow now of course happy goes to work in the morning my helper arrives and obviously i open the door for her um and then i go back to sleep right in the in the bucket there was um five pieces so the fifth piece was the one that i had cut some of it so it was just a small meat that was attached to the bone that was there and then obviously you know that's it okay that is fine i go to bed and then when i wake up that day i woke up around past 11 i was actually really shocked that at that time around 11 my helper was done with everything and she was just sitting so immediately i woke up she was like yeah yo i'm done so i'm leaving right now i was like okay no that's fine mama okay bye 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 you guys i had also cooked chakalaka so it was just chakalaka pap and steak okay that's fine now you need to remember like i enjoy my food girl in the morning so that day i was like i'm not even having any breakfast um that is something else i'm gonna just have the pub and i'm gonna have my steak and i'm gonna have my chakalaka girl now i look inside the bucket where there was meat and then there is no meat you guys legit the thing that is left there is that one piece that is attached to the bone so the four big pieces of meat are not there so i'm like okay that's fine it means that you know she saw that maybe she didn't want the meat to spoil so i'm sure she cut it and she ate one maybe and then she put in the fridge so i opened the fridge girl the fridge there's no meat in the fridge now i'm like this can't be right she has to have put meat in the microwave right i go to the microwave it's the small piece of meat that I had left from yesterday. Goa. I was pissed, you guys. Legit, I don't even want to lie. That day I was so pissed. And I think that the thing for me that pissed me more is that, like, if I'm out here busy cooking and making sure that whenever I cook, I do count you in because I'm being thoughtful towards you. Like, why can't you be thoughtful towards me? How are you going to eat four big pieces of steak, girl? Four. I'm sure at that moment she was also just eating meat alone. You guys, honestly, I was so pissed. Like, and then... I like, I, I was like, no, like, I need to, like, I call her. I was like, mama, she's like, yeah, I'm like, wait, uh, where is the meat? She's like, no, I, the, I left the meat there in the bucket. I'm like, wait, you mean the, the small piece that's there? She's like, yeah. And then I said, okay, guys, honestly, like at that moment, I was just not believing that she ate all the meat. So I was like. I can eat that piece because that piece now I'm thinking that hubby will have to eat when he comes back from work because I didn't want to cook at that point. So I just ate that small piece, you guys, that was in the microwave that I had left the night before. I, my heart was so painful, you guys, that like, how do I think for you, but you don't even think for me? So I'm not even going to lie. I was like, okay, that's fine. I just decided that, you know, I was like, okay, right now I'm also going to just be selfish, okay? So I started making sure that whenever I cook my food, I cooked small portions, like portions that would just be enough for me and hubby and I'd buy bread. You guys, I legit did that for like maybe about two to three weeks. Like I'd cook pap, I'd cook rice, I'd cook whatever everything but i make sure it's in very small portions whenever she comes to work she's only finding bread and she's eating bread and like legit i think that she also saw and i think that she knew what she did was wrong because of uh, why did she rush that day or else she knew i was going to say that the meat is not there but how do you eat like you guys she alone ate more meat than me and hubby combined like my heart was so painful and so looking at how difficult it was to actually like fry that meat and i'm not somebody that's stingy when it comes to food but like a person has to be thoughtful you guys like she was eating bread and i think after like about three weeks that was when i started like you know if maybe let's say um i was cooking meat then i would only leave maybe like one or if i left two like now she had started like regulating food she would take like the smaller piece you know she wouldn't take like everything and i was like but i didn't have to take such dramatic or drastic measures for one to actually come to terms with i don't like the people here who also have to eat like 
that one was just too much for me you guys legit that was too much now that's not why she left obviously like i don't know maybe that's also part of it i don't know but i i did stop after about three weeks you guys of just legit cooking and not like counting hair so she was just coming in and eating bread and that's it because i was like i was legit really just tired you guys like my heart was so hurt over that steak so that's the time that my helper ate all the meat you guys now I do want you guys to go ahead and comment down below if you guys ever had experiences like that and how do you guys deal with such situations because I feel like whenever you're an employee and somebody's working in your house people will look at you like you're the evil one like in terms of oh you know it's just food and we do understand that it's just food but can't one also think what like as much as I'm helping and I also have to eat here the people that are also here they also have to eat and you know like I was not even and this is the thing, like she had told me that where she used to work, they used to tell her she should come with her own scarf tin. So when she started working here, she used to come with her own food. And then I was like, no, you don't need to come with your own food. Like whatever we're eating here, you're going to eat. It's not a problem. But yo guys, no, 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 no. I was just like, what? Can this is what you do? No. I don't know if maybe they started telling her to bring her own food there because she was doing what she did at my house. Uh, but for me, I didn't mind because, you know, mostly I don't like leftovers. Um, if it's leftovers, then I'll eat in the morning and then that's it. If it stays, then I usually just don't eat it. So, I mean, it's okay because she was, you know, obviously taking food that would have been thrown away probably. But uh, I feel like she was also just going too far. So how do you guys deal with such a situation if you ever come across it? Have you ever spoken to someone? Like when it comes to food, I feel like it's also just a tricky situation. But we should also think, you guys, like food is expensive. Like I bought that meat for like 300 bucks, shibubu, okay? Then imagine she just ate all the steak. And then like from that 300 bucks, legit, I maybe just ate 25 bucks. Like, whoa! <laughs> and also the frying and all the work. Hi, right, guys no but anyway i want you guys to go ahead and comment down below do not forget to thumbs up this video and obviously share and i will see you guys in my next upload <laughs> bye ninjas